I turned my old school laptop into a gaming PC for Fortnite only using free optimization tools. This is the HP laptop model 15DA2003NI, which has actually pretty decent specs on paper. It has an Intel i7 10th gen CPU, an Nvidia MX 132GB GPU, and 32GB of DDR4 2600MHz RAM. But these specs might sound good, but trust me, this laptop does not even perform near according to these specs. So I bought this laptop from a guy off of Marketplace for just $130 for school and I have now had this laptop for just over 3 years and its main job at the moment is keeping my room clean from all the dust it has collected. But you're probably wondering, why was it so cheap? I originally knew the main reason for its price being so cheap was in fact because of its right click being completely demolished into looking like this. Like how does someone even do this to a laptop? But anyways, for the specs and even with its damage, this laptop was still a steal, or was it? So let's try and turn this budget laptop into a gaming PC. But for First, let's see what its performance looks like on Fortnite before any optimizations and tweaks. But here's the first problem, I can't work its mousepad, so I had to scratch around looking for my old Logitech mouse which I will now dedicate to this laptop since I don't want to use my main one from my main PC. So now I have a working mouse so now we can move on. So then I obviously had to install Fortnite which only took about 40 minutes. So the game has finally finished installing, so let's launch it and see how great this laptop will perform before any optimizations. So we at least made it to the lobby and yeah, this is worse than I thought. Just look at the lag when I scroll through these pages. Even in the lobby I am averaging 20 to 30 FPS. I can't even imagine what it would look like in a creative match. So let's take a look what it looks like in creative. So now I'm in creative and as expected, it's far worse. I'm getting anything around zero to 20 FPS. Like I mean, this game is literally like a slideshow at this point. But the main reason for my FPS looking like this is because of the recommended settings the game gave me. Fortnite must be on something again where they think I'm on some NASA PC where they think my laptop can run almost maxed out settings. But even with my settings all being set to high, my FPS is still extremely low. So how on earth am I going to turn this PC into a gaming PC only using free optimizations and tweaks? Well, I'm still going to start off with Fortnite settings, so let's try and bring all these settings from high to low and let's see what the FPS difference it makes. Okay, so I'm now back in the same creative map and my FPS has become noticeably better. I am now averaging around 30 to 50 FPS. With that, this is technically playable, but it's nowhere near gaming PC or even nowhere near enjoyable. So now my only option left to do to change in Fortnite is performance mode. So I changed to performance mode and I closed my game, so let's head over to tweaks and optimizations. But first, before I do that, there's just some quick simple things I need to change in order to make it feel like an actual gaming PC. So with this laptop screen, it's only a 60 Hz LCD display. And also the screen size is only 15 inches. And generally the best competitive monitor size is usually around 24 to 27 inches. So I'm sure you guys already guessed it. I connected my laptop to my main gaming monitor. So my main gaming monitor is an Alienware 27 inch 240 Hz display. Obviously this monitor is a little bit of an overkill for this laptop because there's no way this laptop is going to be able to run 240 FPS stable. And now the monitor is plugged in and working, but I'm still missing something, a keyboard. So I took my keyboard from my main PC and plugged it in into my laptop and this is a lot better than using my flat laptop keys. But there's just one thing missing. There we go. Now we should be good to go with all our accessories. So now it's time to do all the basic optimizations and tweaks. So let's start off by installing the latest drivers for the graphics card. So I did this simply by heading to the Nvidia driver site and then manually searching for my card and then obviously installing it. So now once that was done, it was time for the main tweaks. So this is called VTRL or virtual, however you want to pronounce it. And to download it, you have to head over to their site and click free download. And then you click on download for Windows, then you click yes, and then you click on next next and then install and then you just simply wait for it to install and once it's done you click on next and then you make sure the two checkboxes are ticked and then you click on finish and then it should open up the VTRL app. So I was just showing you guys this in case you wanted to do it as well for your own laptop. So now what I needed to do in this app is I needed to set a power plan. So I set it to the desktop power plan because if I put it on the laptop power plan it doesn't give me as many performance options as it does for desktop. So once the power plan was officially applied, I needed to go to the cleaner. So this basically cleans the registry, cache, recent activity, temporary files, and much more. All this nonsense on the PC that isn't needed, it pretty much gets rid of it. So once that was finished, I headed over to the tweaks tab. So what this is for is obviously for tweaking your PC. This is where you change a bunch of settings, where you enable and disable a bunch of things in order to get the max performance out of your PC. So if you guys want to do the same that I'm doing, just simply just copy what I'm doing on screen. Thank you. 
So once you have all the settings applied, all you have left to do is to restart your PC. So therefore I restarted my laptop. So once I restarted my laptop, just before I headed into the game, I needed to change a few simple settings. So I headed over to settings, then to gaming, then to captures, and then making sure all my capture settings are off so it doesn't run in the background. And then once that was done, the last thing I just wanted to check was to check for updates. So all my updates were up to date. So the last thing for me to do was to restart my laptop once again. And then it was time to load back into Fortnite. So now I'm back in Fortnite and I seem to be averaging 40 to 50 FPS in the lobby, which makes it a slight improvement from earlier when I was averaging around 20 to 30 FPS before all the tweaks. But let's go ahead and ready up into a creative match to see if there's any difference in FPS when free building. And yeah, the FPS seems to be slightly better, but still not really playable. I seem to be averaging around 50 to 70 FPS. There's a little bit of stutters here and there. And just keep in mind, this is for creative. Obviously in Battle Royale, it'll be a lot worse, but just for this video, I'm testing in creative only. But there are two settings I can still change. I can change the resolution and the 3D resolution. So I headed over to the Fortnite settings. I changed the resolution to the lowest as possible. And then for the 3D resolution, I put on 60% because I still want it to be playable. Because if I put it anything under 60%, my game is gonna look like Pac-Man. And now free building after applying these changes, I seem to be averaging around 60 to 80 FPS, which makes us a 10 FPS improvement, which is obviously not a lot, but it is better than nothing. But obviously this isn't the max max FPS that I can get. So let me just try the strategy where you look up into the sky and see what your max FPS tops out at. And then as we can see, it seems like my top FPS seems to be around 130, 131, which is obviously not bad considering the specs of this laptop. Obviously there are also so many more options and methods to tweak this laptop to get better FPS than this, but I just wanted to do it the quickest and simplest way possible while also making a big difference. But there you go guys, this is how I turned my school laptop into a gaming laptop for completely free without any cost. If you guys also wanted to do the same, you could simply just copy everything I did in this video. I've also got many other videos on my channel which showcase the best performance settings for your PC. And if you guys did enjoy this video or maybe even perhaps found it helpful, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but a like would be really appreciated but that's the end of the video i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you all in the next one